Hey Fire Signs, my name is Crystal. I'm going to be doing a quick reading um, to see like what's the good stuff that's coming to you guys, you know. So let's see. Alright, so no place like home. Okay, so it's basically like peace. Okay, so peace is coming in for you. Um, not for you. I feel like there's going to be a realization that something is not for you anymore or whatever's not for you is finally going to be out of your way. I feel like that's another good thing that's coming for you. Let's see. Also, it's a general reading, so take whatever resonates for you and leave what doesn't, okay? Um, chaos and conflict, but in reverse, okay? So, um, I feel like all the struggles, all the stress that you've been going through is finally going to be out of your way so that's another good thing um time to go that's another good thing these are all good things that are coming in for your life so i'm not going to say that's another good thing fifty thousand times that's annoying right okay so time to go um so you have not for you time to go no place like home chaos and conflict and reverse and then regeneration i feel like whatever that you're leaving is going to bring peace and tranquility and it's going to be less challenging for you with the chaos and conflict and reverse it's going to be less fighting less arguing it's going to be easier for you to get through you know what i mean no place like home i feel like you're finally going to be able to feel at peace when you're home because i feel like whatever okay in your home it could mean also in your love life in your work life or whatever situation this is, I feel like, um, you know, you're going to have the peace finally coming back in for you. And regeneration just tells me you're going to be somebody way different than what you were before. A whole new person, but something, you know, smarter and wiser than before. Queen of Cups, you know what I mean? Lots of love coming in for you. Um, stability, like um, emotional stability, let me say. You know what I mean? I don't feel like you're going to let your emotions get the best of you anymore. You have the star, so lots of healing is coming in for you. can also mean that you are going to be famous or something like the star, you know what I mean? YouTube or something like that where other people look up to you. But it could mean that you're also going to be noticed. Um, Ten of Pentacles, long-term stability, maybe a career, um, a new um, job or something like this. Ten of Pentacles, more money is coming in for you. Stability. What else? I just flip those. Ten of Wands. Okay, so I feel like it's almost over. You have two tens right here, right? Tens are about the ending and a new beginning. So I do feel like there's a new start coming in for you, okay? Within, like, passions, pleasure, uh, stability, material wealth. I feel like all that is coming in for you. Seven of Wands. Maybe you might need to... Um, protect what you're building i don't know maybe you feel like there's like too much competition around you maybe you feel like other people are trying to take what you made it can also mean just needing to uh set healthier boundaries that way less people can get into your walls and less people you know coming in is less you know chances being uh chances of being hurt i can't talk ace of cups you know, I promise from the universe to be able to give, you know, do what you want to do, okay? This is like living out your dreams. Your cup is going to be like overflowing with love and happiness. So it could be a brand new love coming in for you too, one that's going to bring you happiness. Um, and if it is, it could be a cancer sign. It could also be Aquarius um, or an air sign. Then you have the five of cups. I feel like um, you're going to feel like you lost something, right? It's going to be sadness in this Um you know, coming up for you, but I don't feel like the sadness, you know, you're walking away from something that's emotional, so that's where the sadness comes from, okay, so I do feel like you are walking away from something or someone that has caused you to feel like, you know, lots of fighting, no peace, okay, stressed out, you know what I mean, but I feel like this is about to be over, you got a new start coming in, a new love, it's just like, you know what I mean, don't focus on all the stuff that you're losing, just remember that all the stuff that you're losing is just making bigger space for you to be able to have something better to fill that up, whether that's people, places, things, money, um, homes, it's like whatever, you know, there's always something better out there for us, and as long as we believe in that, that's what we get, um, you have, you are very close to achieving your goal, so this is coming up for you, whatever that you're working on, business, leaving, whatever situation you're leaving behind or planning on, like, ending, it's like, you're very close, like I said, your commitment is being tested. <laughs> okay, so if you feel like you're trying and you're trying, you keep on hitting walls, right, it's like the universe wants to see how bad do you want this. They're going to keep on putting you through tests. They're going to keep on putting little blockages in your way just to see if you're going to keep on pushing for this, just to test you out. If you really want it, you'll keep on going. 
Your dreams need a, pack, a practical plan. This popped up the other day for you guys too. Full moon and Taurus. This is Aquarius and Gemini. So you may be messing with the, one of those or they may be uh, rising up for you sooner in the future. Your dreams need a practical plan. So make sure you write down things the way that you want or the way that you're planning on doing things. Make sure you have like a little plan and plan it all out like I always say. You know what I mean? And have a plan B just in case. So show the, the world the real you. With the star, I feel like this could be something that you are doing, like, on YouTube or, like, you know what I mean? If it's, like, tarot and stuff like that. It's, like, helping other people and being noticed for it or just showing the world the real you. So maybe it's something that other people are going to notice you for, right? And then you have the answers you need are coming, right? So if you're feeling stuck and you're not sure what, you know, is going to go on or maybe you're questioning something, right? It's, like, don't worry, the answers are coming. And I feel like you're going to realize that from within, yeah, Pisces, mystic, dreamer, artistic, receptive, visionary, okay? So I feel like something, um, you're going to be doing something with your creative side, something with your artistic side. It's something that you really, really want to do, right? Cancer, deep, you got a lot of signs. Cancer, deeply intuitive, sensitive feelings, warm heart. Okay, so I feel like you are um, coming into your intuition a little bit more. That's another new thing that's coming. I feel like that's the reason why there's also receptive over here and visionary, mystic dreamer. Yeah, definitely some type of skills um, involved in your spiritual abilities. Now, sometimes I can't think, sorry. And then you have lotus, self-regeneration, purity, and enlightenment, like I told you. Okay, I definitely feel like you have something going on with your spirituality, learning more about that, getting more in tune with that. Um, I feel like this is also helping you to kind of open your eyes and release a lot of things that don't need to be here anymore. I feel like things are about to start changing for you in a better way, you know what I mean? And let's see um, what is coming for the future um, after this um, ends. Ace of Wands. <laughs> A brand new start, something that you're going to love, something that you're going to really, really be happy for. It could be a new love, too. It could be a new home, a new job. It's new passion. So it could be anything that you really like and really want. You got the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands. The Ten of Swords. Yes, it's over. The only thing you don't have is the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups is the big happy family. That's the one thing that you're missing. Ten of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Swords. You got all that. You got the backstab. You got all overwork and you got, you know, financial stability coming in. But the one thing that you don't have is the big happy family. So I feel like that's what you're searching for. And I do see that's what's coming in for you in the future. But you have to stop concentrating on all the sadness, you know what I mean? And just realize, like, what is lost is lost. And, you know what I mean? Or what is gone is gone. And, you know what I mean? Not trying to be rude. Don't, like, hate me for saying that. But just know... That you still have other things to look forward to, you know what I mean? And other things, better things are coming in for you. What is this Ace of Cups? Will of Fortune. <laughs> okay, so this just tells me it's the ending of a cycle and the beginning of a brand new one, alright? So let's see. What is this new? And then the Nine of Pentacles, focus on your stuff. You're all that you need. You can be ending up being single from all of this. I think you are leaving a relationship. The Empress, like you are all you need, like I just said, it's basically the same exact thing as this. It's comfortability. You're gonna be having, you're gonna be comfortable. You're gonna be happy. You're gonna, you know, this is also being creative, using your creativity, detaching. There's your Ten of Cups. Okay, so this is what's coming for you after the Wheel of Fortune. You're finally gonna find your happiness. Okay, you're finally gonna find your happiness. So that's good. You just need to detach. That's all. Emotionally, mentally, physically, whatever situation that you're holding on to that is still kind of dragging you down a little bit. It's like you just need to detach all the way from it. And just when you leave it, let it go. You know what I mean? And if it's meant to be, it'll come back again when the time it's ready. But for now, it's not. You know what I mean? It's it's over. It's the end of a cycle. Over. You got all the tens here. All right? Not for you. And time to go. All right? So just... um. Keep your head up because there is better things coming in for you, okay, guys? Um, that's what I got for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>